Hi there, Aquarius. How are you? We're going to get started on your tarot reading for the month of February, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's begin by choosing a tarot deck, and I'm pretty sure I want to use this one. This is the Joker Tarot. For those of you that care to know, the Joker Tarot deck. All right, Aquarius. Let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Aquarius. What's going on with my dear Aquarius this time around? Holy Spirit, what is going on with the zodiac sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus too? Cross Watcher as well. Yes, yes. Let's see. Here we go. Some of you might be gambling, going to a casino. Um, gambling is like a. Some of you like those scratch offs. We have the four of wands, okay? And then here's that gambler. <laughs> Six of pentacles, hmm, okay. And right now I heard save your money, <laughs> save your money. <laughs> save your money this time around the four. Actually, I'm looking, I was looking at this four of wands as the four of pentacles, okay. And the six of pentacles. Hmm, actually, this would be a good time to gamble. Not at all usually, you know, the message I ever give. Like, I never encourage gambling. <laughs> but it's here. We have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting that for many of you there is you're like you're gonna take a gamble or yeah you're gonna take a gamble or you took a gamble on a particular property I could be connecting with those of you that are maybe like in real estate or you are like actively at this moment making a deal or something with like property or something of value I feel like what this is saying is um I feel like what this is saying is this is this is something good for you. But remember, it does it is going to require like some like a gamble of some sort, which I'm getting that for some of you that that there could deter you. I see a new place of living. We have the 3 of uh, pentacles. I'm getting that for some of you, it has something to do with like taking a new job and like relocating or like a, there's a purchase of a home, a residence, their work somehow is interconnected with this. Now this could be, um, you're thinking about making a change when it, as it comes to work because for many of you it means it means more work. It means more money, I'm sorry, not more work. Maybe more work, look at this Queen of Wands. I mean, this one right here is busy. And with the Six of Pentacles, I mean, the Six of Pentacles is a reward. And here we see a gentleman that, um, well, I. you can't really tell what's going on, but it is the Six of Pentacles, which again, it's like a gift, it's money. So yeah, this person here is like they they they're receiving. There there there's like good luck here. I guess we could put it like that. There's good luck here. And with the four of wands, the four of wands is receiving the for the first rewards of your hard labor, for example. So there is like an upgrade that happens with the four of wands. So there's an upgrade here. For many of you, that is, yeah, that's an upgrade in position. You're getting like a, a higher position at work. You're getting a better job. You're getting higher pay. But it does like require for many of you to plant, to replant, 
somewhere else, which could certainly just be, you know, like relocating, making your life like somewhere else, like moving. I'm hearing from many of you from a long term residence to, you know, maybe a more rural place because it just gives me that vibe for some of you. For others of you, it's the other way around, meaning that you're leaving like maybe the country and moving more towards the city. And for others of you, it's vice versa. Okay, so that's what's going on. That's what's happening. Um, I see this as being, yeah, this is like a higher position, guys. Like, do you see this woman here? So yeah, this is perhaps more responsibility, but it's, you're definitely going to be compensated with the Six of Pentacles for it. And I do see you being like really happy with, with how that goes. I mean, to me, that just looks like a person that, I mean, look at them. That's a nice car. That's a nice house. And it looks like they have a brand new phone. They look, they're dressed very nice. And they have a kid there in the back seat that's eating, a, that's eating a lollipop. So that's just the person that's happy. That's, you know, looks like they got off of work and they're returning to their home. And they're just, they're just so happy with, with the, they're just happy with life. Oh my God, I feel it. Like I can feel it. I could feel like the sun hitting my face and, oh, it's like I'm there right now, guys. Wow. This, this is, this is a, this is, this is a good, good position for many of you. You're really going to, you're going to upgrade big time for many of you. This could even be like, if you have your own business, this is things improving and things really stabilizing. I need to read this, read it. It's the queen of swords. Interesting. What is going on here? Like that, like I was just hearing, read it. The Queen of Swords, Airy. No, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, what is this? This, what is going on here? Uh, there is a toothbrush in this woman's mouth. It looks like she's like in a hurry, right? Because, I mean, you brush your teeth in the restroom, right? She's not in the bathroom. Anyways, look she's she has a tooth tooth uh brush in her mouth tell me what is this queen of swords doing here i'm getting that for many of you you've worked really hard to get to that right there oh yeah i see many of you moving And then I see the, uh, there's the tower. Okay. But I feel like that tower is good guys. All right. So with this queen of swords, I'm getting that for many of you. This is you Aquarius. And, um, I feel like you've just been, to me, this is like, and being unstabilized, right? Queen of swords, like you're, you're not grounded. It's air energy, right? And it, yeah, it's, yeah. I feel like this is either where you find yourself now, but for the majority of you, I feel like this is a place that you were at. Like, I feel like you had like a lot, a lot of things going on and perhaps you were experiencing a high level of stress and maybe you felt like you didn't really have a whole lot of time. You felt like you didn't have a whole lot of time to like maybe take care of yourself the way that you're used to. Absolutely, because look at this person here and whether you're male or female, they, this applies to you. Like this is just the person that, look, they're busy. You see, both of these people are busy. Only, you know, this one looks more well taken care of and this one looks like, well, they're like, uh, yeah, all over the place. But I'm telling you, this is you now. It's gonna be this beginning energy. That's you now or very near future like this is something you've already manifested now with this queen of swords i feel like that's where you're coming from you see and then we have the full like you're leaving 
yeah, I feel like you're taking a chance. You're taking a chance. You are embarking, we could say, on a new journey, on a new path. And this is a decision. Absolutely. What have I been saying from the beginning? It's kind of like a gamble. For many of you, you are maybe starting a job or getting into something that you've never really done before and that you don't really know much of, but that you're going to be just, hold on, hold on, guys. Hey there, Aquarius, I'm back. All right, so um, what was I saying? Yeah, Queen of Swords and then this full. I'm getting, I'm, yeah, I'm getting guys that you were recently in a position where you, you were under a lot of stress. Yeah, you were under a whole lot of stress. And then here we have this full and look at the full's pants, they're ripped. And yeah, he's wearing a sandal and he's wearing, he's wearing a sandal on one foot and then a tennis shoe on the other. So I feel like that's you. I feel like this is you just choosing to start, you know, fresh, perhaps somewhere new. And you're leaving behind whatever high stress situation environment you were in that didn't really allow you to like, just, I'm hearing just take care of yourself. And then we have the tower. And here we have a, a game of, is it Jigsaw? What's the name of this game? Yeah, and well, the tower is falling. It's the tower card. I don't feel people, I don't, people don't expect this. People don't expect for you just to say, you know what, I can't, can't do this crap no more. Like, like, no, I don't think people can, they, they, you're, that's what you're going to be doing. Like, no, like, what the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Like, no, like, no, this is not where I belong. This is not the kind of life that I'm meant to live. Like, no, like, no. And then I'm getting that for many of you. You've had to like go through this. You didn't have to, but because you went through it, you, you gained this higher perspective and that higher perspective is pretty much, what the hell? Like, uh, I deserve, I can do better. And there you go. But here's the thing. I think a lot of people don't think that. I don't feel like a lot. I'm, let me tell you, you're going to be doing so well. You're going to have such a nice house. There's like your house. You're, you're going to be doing so well. Queen of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Look at that. Those orange uh, trees. And then we have the three of pentacles. You see, you're going to be doing very well at work. I see you being in some sort of like leadership position or just having a very important role in, you know, whatever career job it is that, or whatever it is that you do. Like I, I see you being a valuable, okay, person, employer, yeah, person in, in that field or you're just, you're somebody important, okay? And I, and I, again, I, I see you being very well rewarded and I see you being incredibly happy with the life it is that you're like building for yourself. I do see you leaving behind whatever this, this queen of swords here is, which again, is just like a highly stressful, you know, situation. And with the full look, you're leaving it behind, but guess what? Look at the full. You could think like, oh, look, the full's leaving. Like, what are they going to do with their lives? Like, really? I'm hearing, and then right now I heard they lost it all. For many of you, I'm hearing that you lost it all. You lost, you, you've, yeah, you, you, I'm, that's what I'm hearing. You lost it all, which just means you, you, there was something that went wrong. Okay. In, in your life, it was pretty big and I feel like it impacted you a whole lot. I'm hearing many of you, maybe you had to downgrade. You, you had to, you had to uh, downgrade. And I'm hearing here they see you, here they see you, they see you go, uh, you know, and they don't expect for you to recover or do better. And guess what? You do, you bounce back and you bounce back even better than before. It's pretty much what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. There could be a trip that for many of you, you're going to be taking 
And then for whatever reason, right now I heard be careful about the dog not being, or the pet not being, not being dehydrated. We have the hair font. Okay, and then we have the moon card. We have the moon and then we have the hair font here. And look at the hair font there in front of a judge. And here we have an officer and it looks like they are holding their, yeah, they're, they're, they're holding this individual back here in orange the what do you call them i don't want to say a criminal but for some of you certainly that's the case um hair one and then the moon card guys what it is that you should know oh and then look is this the oh this is the eight of swords okay there's a particular person a situation here guys that for many of you you don't need to worry about anymore Maybe it's still in, on, in your mind, but I feel like for the most part, you're able to sleep a lot better. For many of you, this could be the reason why you are moving away because of this criminal here, this person here that's before this judge. But I'm seeing this hair font, guys, as just um, in this moon card and this eight of swords as like a problematic situation or person that is has worried you and caused you a lot of stress. Uh, right now, I heard that many of you felt like targeted because look at this eight of swords. You, you see what's happening there? But you could rest. You could rest at night, okay? You could rest peacefully at night and know that whoever, whatever situation we have going on here, okay, is going to be brought to justice. Now, for many of you, that could certainly be divine justice. And then right now, I heard, and for many of you, okay, that's the best kind of justice you can get. The hair font. Yeah, I'm getting, you can rest well at night. You can rest well at night knowing that a particular person, is, you know, is going to be brought to justice or there will be justice in a certain situation, okay, that was worrying you. Do know that. Tell me more about this, Holy Spirit. We have the magician. And then we have the emperor reversed. Interesting. The emperor reversed. Um, I'm getting that for many of you. This could been, this is like an old boss. Okay. An old boss. Now, if it's not like um, a, an old ex boss or it's just somebody that abused their power in some way or another. Yeah, the emperor reversed. Yep, look at, look at them, reversed. Yeah, this is somebody that abused their their power. They absolutely, especially so with the magician. This is somebody that manipulated, okay, um, the things around them and the position it is that they that they hold allowed them to be able to do that. And it's basically an abuse of power, okay. This person. Well, did something for many of you could be unlawful or un unjustified, okay? And well, I feel like what this is saying is, look, my dear Aquarius, this is something that right now, or not right now, but just in general, it's, it's, it's a good time for you to find peace. Maybe many of you can't really find that peace yet because maybe this is something that is still, I'm hearing it's still case open or it hasn't really been resolved or somebody, something hasn't been brought to justice, but do know that it is going to happen. And for many of you guys, that, that okay, has a lot to do with how well you're going to be doing. Three of Pentacles, look, that's, that's you, that's, that's you, Aquarius. Four of Wands, look at all that. That's like, think about that being your backyard. That's your garden. This is everything you've planted, okay? It's giving back. And then here we have this Queen of Wands and she's holding this, um, she's, look, it's these, the orange, she's, she has an orange, uh, I don't know, tree, plant, yeah. And then jackpot, six of pentacles. Oh, lucky, 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 lucky. I'm hearing for many of you, okay? Take a chance. Take a chance. 
Just take a chance. You're going to be very happy if you do. For many of you, you already took that you already took that chance. Okay? Let's put this back in and let's continue. Aquarius, tell me more. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Something it is that my dear Aquarius should know, something that I don't know, maybe you want to bring into their to their awareness, uh, the future, what can they expect for the future? Aquarius, let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Yes. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Hmm. I'm getting that for many of you, you were like treated badly, you were uh, like abused or just treat, you weren't, um, you were treated badly, okay, by in, in, in your, at your last job. For many of you, select a few, you might be at this job now and this is like future energy. You see what's going on here? There's like this man is screaming at this person, like if you can don't just imagine like, hurry up or do this or that whatever's going on you know that it's not there that you know there's a sort of abuse of power going on here right like a sort of mistreatment going on there it's the nine of wands the nine of wands is absolutely is being overworked and then here we have that ace of pentacles I see many of you again leaving your place of work because you were treated badly, you were being overworked, so there was an abuse of power there, something didn't work out, you know, it didn't serve you. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I see you taking a new job, finding a new opportunity for yourself. Yeah, it, yeah, it goes, let's see. I like this deck, I just got it, I think. It arrived yesterday. All right, we have the devil. And then we have the six of swords. Yeah, I, I see you, my dear Aquarius, getting yourself out of a very restrictive, very limited situation. With the devil... I feel like whoever, okay, was mistreating you or whatever calamity or, you know, negativity or, yeah, was happening, going on here. I feel like whoever was doing this one, didn't think you could find something better. They didn't think you were going to do anything about it. And yeah, I feel like they, they, they felt like they had this, yeah, control over you. Do you see that? Holy Spirit, what's going to happen? I, this, there's a person here that is being removed. There is somebody here that is being removed. It's not you. And then right now I heard, although you were removed before, we have the sun card and then we have the nine of pentacles. Like right now I heard you're gonna take their position. For some, you're, you're gonna take their position, but somewhere else. We have the sun card and then we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, the nine of pentacles to me is a very, it's like a very good position. It's a favorable position. It's, 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 it's as far as career is concerned or just life in general. It's, it's a place that you want to be at. It's a, not only that, but it's, it's a place, okay, a position that you earned. And then with the sun card being there, get out. I mean, that's you just, that's you being so happy. That's also you doing very well, Nine of Pentacles, being in a position that you deserve, okay? That is incredibly rewarding, that takes care of you very well. And with the Sun card, well, guess what? That everybody's gonna know and, and know about. 
You're really going to shine, I'm hearing in this new position. You're really going to shine wherever it is that you're going to be ending up at. For many of you, you're you're just there. You just arrived there. Now you be, will be arriving here in the near future. You're really going to shine. They, it, it, you were suppressed, okay? You were suppressed before and, and whatever, wherever you were at, you were suppressed. You weren't allowed to like grow and shine. There was a very suppressive, very manipulative energy around you that was even, was like very like there's like a bully here for many of you. I see what you need to know, okay? For many of you, this is the person we just saw a little while ago in the in the hair font that was facing the judge. I see this person like whatever they did to you is going to happen to to them. It's gonna vary, but pretty much what that means is that this person is gonna they're they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get their karma pretty much what that's is it that says. With the six of swords, do you see how somebody's being removed there? I feel like this is a very careless person. Um, yeah, I'm getting that this is like the type of person that doesn't do their job. They, they don't do their work and they gamble. I'm hearing a whole lot. They gamble a lot, which just means, right, they take a lot of risks, a lot of them. There's a carelessness there. And I see this person being removed. I see them being removed. I do see you being in a position as well with this four of cups where you're going to be able to like say no. You're going to be able to say no to certain opportunities that are going to be presented to you, which again, it says a whole lot guys, right? That's that nine of pentacles. Again, I feel like you can expect those around you okay to see your worth to see your value and i feel like a lot of people are going to want you on their side and you're gonna be in a position to turn some of these things down which to me is just is it's a sign of um is it's a for it's a, a fortunate um it's a fortunate position to be in Interesting. Now for a very selective few, very, very selective few, I feel like this person here that's being represented by the criminal over there and then this devil and then this person here that's being taken away, I feel like this person could in the future try to make peace with you in some way especially if you're connected to this person like maybe they're part of your family maybe they're an ex or or just somebody and for others of you you they don't even have to be a part of your family there has there doesn't have to be that kind of relationship there but you might bump into them or they might be in the same field that you're in and you might, you know, you're going to come in contact with this person. And I see you just like not doing business with them. And then right now I heard, I don't F with you. <laughs> yeah, look, this eight of pentacles. Oh, five of cups. Yep, look, bye. What's that in the back? Bye. Yeah, you see, Eight of Pentacles. I s Some of you might work construction. Some of you may work like in a high rise. Oh, look, that's the Eight of Pentacles. Look at you. That's just you doing, ju that's, that's just you looking good, doing your job and God, you're doing well. You see the eight of pentacles, guys, there's this uh, perfectionism there. 
you're really good at something in, in, in the eight of pentacles this is as well where you know it's the eight it goes around comes around so this is where like you get back a lot of uh a, a lot of the hard work okay that you did in the past it comes back a lot of good karma as well comes uh, in in this card this eight of pentacles and look we have the five of cups why so serious i'm hearing right now why so serious yep i feel like somebody in that is your success is somebody else's uh, defeat, really, and sorrow. You see that? Like, look at me. I'm doing good. Like, that. you know, look at me. Look at, look at you. Look at you. But we have this five of cups. Oh, again, your success is somebody else's uh, misfortune, I suppose you can say. And look, that's you, Queen of Pentacles, getting off that plane. Mm. Ten of Wands. You see all those baskets of oranges? You're a hard worker. You are a very hard worker, Ten of Wands. And let me tell you, something it is that you can expect, okay, now and in the near future is for all of that hard work to pay off. Look at that. You did that. All those oranges in those baskets, you did that. That's you, Queen of Pentacles. Look at that, getting off of that airplane with that big pentacle on the side. That's you. And that's your uh, chauffeur right there waiting for you. Like, get on, get on. Absolutely. So I see your quality of life improving drastically. And again, guys, that is because of all your hard work. Beautiful energy, Aquarius. One more card. Wow. That's, that's great, guys. We hello look that's look at that that's you Aquarius just sitting there enjoying your own company and then right now I'm hearing a Spanish saying that goes something like um how does it go mejor estar sola que mala mejor estar so, uh, sola que mal acompañada mejor estar solo que mal acompañado which pretty much says it's, it's better to be alone that it, than in bad company. So I just see you like completely just, you know, detaching yourself from all, all sorts of negativity. I see you finding peace. I see you being incredibly well taken care of. Look, to me, that's just like a person that is enjoying like, you know, fine dining. Absolutely. This is somebody that's fine dining. So guess what, Aquarius? I see you fine dining somewhere. Really nice. And when you can fine dine by yourself, you know you've made it. Uh-huh. When you fine dine by yourself, yeah. Six of Cups. That's just you looking back. That's you looking back and it's to me it's like this person is looking back and thinking I would do that all over again. And then right now I heard just to see your face again. Just to see your face again. Just to, I would do that. I would go through that all over again. If I could just savor that moment one more time of seeing you. See, seeing you see me do so well. Look, and just, just seeing that remor that just disappointment in your face. Yeah, Six of Cups, this is you reflecting on the past and I'm hearing you're not looking at the past as something terrible, although for many of you, I feel like at some point you, you absolutely did, but look at that. This is where you're headed. And I'm telling you, you know, like that is very true when we struggle, 
we don't we don't see everything we don't see we don't see how a struggle is can oftentimes very well be a gift to us uh, in disguise and that's pretty much what you're doing here with this six of cups it's like you're looking back on your journey and there's like no regrets and there's even like a feeling of i would do it all over again if i had to because it's all worth it like the way i'm hearing everything just fell into place for me the way the the way everything turned out and you know the direction that that one thing unfortunate event that happened that one thing led me here so there's a sense of grace and of gratitude here guys that you know you are experiencing now you you will be beautiful energy this is what i have for you my dear let's get a um oracle message for you aquarius if you want to book a reading with me you could do so by going to the link down below in the description box it's going to take you to votre voyage tarot.com where you could book a private reading with me this is the spirit messages daily guidance oracle deck i'm gonna get one of these for you i just got this deck yesterday Look, there's that justice card again. Yeah, I'm getting for many of you, your like justice will be served, okay? I'm hearing on a full platter. Aquarius, right here. Speak up. Speak up. It says if you avoid conflict to keep the peace you start a war inside yourself if you avoid conflict to keep the peace you start a war inside yourself so um for many of you this is a message okay for right now is telling you that there is a need for you to speak up to speak your truth about you know a, a situation perhaps that you're you know not entirely okay with or there's just something okay that you should really speak up about to ex you know express and communicate because um well i feel like there's there's a, a very there's a big need for that guys if you don't, I mean, there's going to be an internal struggle going on within you that is really going to unground you and unbalance you. But overall, the message that I'm getting is like, speak up, speak up, just say something. Now, again, that's like a specific message for some of you. Speak up, speak up. What do you have to say? What's on your mind? Let's see. It doesn't have to be anything tremendous, you know, just wow, out of this world or, you know, just in, in something important necessarily. It could just be as simple as just, you know, just speaking up. Just speak up. Let's see. Aquarius. It says support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout throughout your entire life. Support. There's a lot of support around you. Uh, for those of you that I'm connecting with, I feel like there's a lot of changes that you are either going through right now or will be going through. And well, with those changes brings different people, you know, in and out of your life. And I mean, seeing certain people, certain things get out your life could make you, you know, maybe feel alone or something like that but i feel like the message is that you're well supported definitely well supported in spirit and also know that if anybody gets removed from your life 
especially during these times, like right now and in the near future and even in the near past, like anybody that has left your life, I feel like it was it was for your greater good and it was like meant to happen in that way and something else it is that you should know is that with every you know person that leaves your life there's going to be new ones that are going to be coming in so you can definitely count on new energy new people coming into your life i feel like there's going to be a very there's going to be a very important person very important people okay that are that are either in your life now but mostly i'm getting there's like a handful of people that are going to enter your life that are really going to be there with you pretty much forever these are friendships very important connections and relationships that are going to be incredibly supportive that are going to embrace you that you can count on being there for the rest of your life i feel like for many of you you're really like desiring that perhaps because of the loss that many of you have experienced like you know you you're really wanting like long-term valuable connections let me get one more card support it says receive you are a kind receive you are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others but now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive just as with the ebb and flow of the tides the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe like right now i like i, I just I, i'm getting emotional why i don't know i guess because i feel happy i feel happy reading this because there's a lot of really good things coming to you there's a lot that it's be prepared okay i feel like the universe has already been giving back to you and i'm hearing and the things that were taken away do know that that was like a gift as well there's a lot of blessings entering in your life. I feel like the overall message in this card is just be open to receiving whatever the universe has for you. Know that it's something very abundant and it's something very good for you. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. This is also saying you have a whole lot of very good karma coming your way. Because you, for many of you, you've given a lot of yourself very selflessly. And well, just natural law. That's just the way the universe works. What you put out, you know, you get back. And for many of you, there's like a lot of very positive energy, okay, that is going to be returning to you. And it's going to be coming to you at the perfect time where you really need it. This is what I have for you, my dear Aquarius. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.